what are the top five work from home online businesses that you can start today, low overhead, low cost to get started, low barrier to entry. These five that I'm gonna share with you, I have done them all and I'm gonna do them in order of what I felt like was my number one all the way to my number five. Maybe I should have switched that, oh well. My name is Rachel S. Lee and my channel is all about making money online. So if you're into that kind of stuff, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and let me know in the comments if you have considered any of these five online businesses that I'm gonna share with you, if you have experience doing any of them, and what is your favorite. Or if I missed any that's your favorite, let me know so I can add it in another video and give you a shout out. So my number one is affiliate marketing. I like it the most, I just do. You find an offer that you like, that you did not create. You don't have to create a software. You don't have to create a course. You don't have to create a product. You just find things that you like or things that other people are getting results and sign up for the affiliate program, get your affiliate links and drive qualified traffic to it. It's simple. Oftentimes we make it not simple. I've definitely made it more complicated than it has needed to be at times. But when it comes down to it with affiliate marketing, you need a good product, like a good offer and good traffic. I found it is low stress, no clients. I don't really do that well under stress. So I feel like this is the least stressful business to do. I feel like it's the most passive income I could chill and not work all day, but still be making money. Number two, e-commerce. E-commerce is a good online business because it's also low cost to get started. You don't have to have overhead. It could be really fun learning about different traffic methods and it could be nice also not having clients and you are in charge of how much money you make. You just gotta get smarter and better and find winning products and that's how you make more money. It's a lot of it that is paid advertising. So if you're gonna get into e-com, you're gonna be learning a lot about paid ads and you'll need money to invest in the paid ads, but you can grow an e-com empire and no one can bother you. So number my second one is e-com. By the way, I'm gonna put links in the description for more information on how you can learn more about each of these career paths that you do not need college for. So number three, social media manager. This is one that I used to do when I was getting started and a lot of people, businesses need social media management and you probably know something about social media. You can help a business with their social media, maybe their Instagram, their Facebook, creating graphics and videos, maybe even editing their website and promoting that kind of stuff on social media or helping them also with their email list or Facebook chatbot. To me, I would consider that kind of stuff social media manager things. And you can take on multiple clients. So if you're really organized, you can scale and have lots of clients. But let's say you pick up five clients and they're each paying you thousand bucks a month. Cool, $5,000 a month. But so you're still gonna be putting in the hours so you'll still have a job. It's not something where you're really gonna be making passive income from, but that's okay. Not everyone is made for like the passive income things or like not that you're not made for it, but maybe it's not right for everyone. It's also a great way to make money like fast, like for sure you're gonna get paid because you can get paid up front or let's say you get paid every two weeks or you bill your client every week. So you could take that money that you make and then reinvest it into growing businesses like the first two options. Number four, this is, I would say like after you graduate from social media manager would be a paid ad manager. So in this, the more skilled you get, the more money you make. So if you, you could start as a social media manager and then tell your client like, Hey, let me start running Facebook ads for you. 
I'm not that, I don't know much about it, but I'm gonna learn about it. Can I have a small budget, $5 a day? And you can start learning more about Facebook ads and lead generation and collecting emails and sending traffic to sales funnels and get paid really well for that. You could get paid like $2,000 a month for each client. And let's say you manage 10 clients at a time because you just got better. So you may wanna consider Facebook ads, but also Google ads, it's always in high demand. Businesses looking for good Google ad managers and then YouTube ads is a great opportunity. It's growing, lots of businesses want YouTube ads. That's ran in the Google Ad Manager. So maybe if you already have experience with Google ads, you can start studying more about running YouTube ads and get higher paying clients because it's a rare, more rare skill set. And then number five, this kind of breaks off from there, is a freelancer slash virtual assistant. So you could be a very skilled freelancer, someone where like you do video editing or you do email marketing or you set up Facebook chatbots or virtual assistant, like you will help an entrepreneur stay organized and help them with their email inbox and customer service and just like everything. And your main role isn't necessarily to run their ads, but just to help oversee administrative things, do administrative things. You could get clients from Upwork or Fiverr. It is highly competitive though. I oftentimes hire people that I meet on Facebook in different Facebook groups. We're friends on Facebook. They're active in my group. Sometimes they DM me. Sometimes I see their posts and I take notice of them and I see that they're for hire or they say like, hey Rachel, are you hiring? I mean, or I'll post, I'll post like on Facebook, hey, I'm looking for someone that does this and this, who does this, and people will tag other people on Facebook. So you can also market your services on Facebook or YouTube and pick up little part-time gigs, part-time clients. That's a great way because maybe a client won't last a very long time and you have room for new clients, but you don't really want new clients right now because you're gonna go travel. So that's a great flexible way to make money working from home. Okay, I hope this inspired some ideas for you guys. I will put more trainings about these things, like next steps, in the description below. I personally have a lot of affiliate marketing trainings on this channel, but I have friends and colleagues that specialize in e-commerce, being a social media manager, being a Facebook ad manager. Again, I've done it all. To me, the least stress-free was affiliate marketing because I didn't have any clients and I have so much fun with it. So on this channel is more affiliate marketing videos too. And if you like this, be sure to like the video, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.